Hi everyone, I hope you're all well, having a great day and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are going to end the week with this Duskmane or Ultra Necrozma, Xerneas, Incineroar, Mega Kangaskhan, Amoongus and Tapu Fini. We've not really brought the Amoongus too much this week, so hopefully we can see it featured today. It would be quite nice to see it featured at least a little bit. I feel like this team does kind of have a lot of exploits against hard Trick Room teams or just Trick Room teams that are generally quite solid. So we need to be a bit careful about them going into matches this week. As always though, the team and all the information is down in the description. If you'd like to grab it, test it out for yourselves, go ahead, try it. If you do, let me know in the comment section below because I love hearing from you all. And we'll just jump into it straight away. Let's get some music on. And just before anything as always if you do enjoy this sort of content please make sure to leave a like on the video it does really help out the channel and subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content as well and uh, obviously i've already said leave a comment because i do love hearing from you guys so uh yeah that is that guys but talking about guides and stuff if you're starting off in the ultra series we've got all the guides up on the channel at the minute the ultra and across my one is out today and there'll be more subsequent guides coming in the coming weeks so keep an eye out for those but we'll get into team preview because we've got a first opponent of the day and it's a pretty interesting one because we're going up against tapu koko low Pony, uh, kartana amoongus mega rayquaza and Primal Kyogre. So it looks as though we've got a double Mega team potentially here with Mega Low Pony and the Mega Rayquaza. So you've got to be careful for the Mega Low Pony. It's super fast, base 135 speed, so we need to be careful with that. See, the Tapu Koko again does cause us quite a few issues, especially with that Ferrinium Z that it can carry in. Probably is carrying because it's such a good tech against that Ultra Necrozma. And uh, we're going to have to go down a route where we're utilizing Azernius if we can. Um, You've got to be careful about the Amoongus as well. It does make me want to bring Tapu Fini, but generally against Ray, Ray Ogre, you want to bring Tapu Fini. Uh, the Kartana then becomes a bit of an issue, so you want to bring the Intimidate, of course. Um, I think I will lead with Incineroar. Um, and Xerneas, I think, here. We'll bring Ultra Necrozma in the back with Tapu Fini for that terrain support. And we'll lock in and we'll get into this first one today. So hopefully it, it's going all right. You know, it's so weird. I'm just going to be flat out, like, super, super honest with you guys. Um, I just played the stream on Tuesday night. And if you came along, thank you so much for coming by. It was like I'm still a bit overwhelmed by the amount of support and people that came out. And what a good night we had. If you haven't been out to a stream, come come by sometime. I stream on a Tuesday evening uh, over on Twitch, 7 p.m. UK time. Uh, on a Tuesday and a Thursday and we do view battles sporadically on the occasional Thursday so it's a chance for you guys to battle us as well but I played this team tonight for half of the stream and um, I just this week I feel like I've got on with it quite well on the channel but on the stream tonight just didn't feel like I got on with it too well at all and we'll get into a few more details in a minute but we've got the Kyogre, the Low Pony, we've obviously got that threat of the fake out from the, uh, the Mega Low Pony here um, onto the Xerneas and it will can deny the Incineroar to fake out. We've got to switch into Tapu Fini here really and um, I'm just going to protect Xerneas. The thing that we need to watch out for the next turn is potentially on call from that Law Pony and you've got to realise that, that that Kyogre is scarfed so we've got another scarf Kyogre here to deal with and contend with in this one. Um, what? Yeah, the, the, the team, it just felt so vulnerable to Trick Room. I mentioned in, in the, the team overview at the start of the episode how vulnerable the team felt uh, to Trick Room and it really did and I think it's just exploited even more and the more I play it the, the, the less confident I feel with it and I've sat down to record this episode for today and I just feel really like my confidence with this team is really drained so it'd be nice if we can kind of pull a few wins out and get maybe a few different approaches to things with the team today I think one of the things that I um, I would like to potentially do going into next week would be changing up the team slightly um okay because we're in a we're in a really awkward spot now where Xerneas can get encored um and we either bring in Incineroar and it gets sacked and then we we have a real hard time against Cartana um or we bring in Ultra Necrozma and then we go down a Xerneas route where we can try and get that um into a position where we can get it boosted up out of everything though Maybe sacking Iron Cineroar is the better thing to do here. But because Ultra Necrozma is going to come in, I'm going to have to switch it in though. I think 
we'll keep our fake out. It's going to be so important for us going into the rest of the match. It's just really awkward. We'll be able to get an icy wind off here, which, yeah, we're going to take a water spout. Of course. That takes down the crossma. That's not great because we're in range now with Tepu Fini. And the return will pick up the knockout. Now we do get Xerneas. Oh, we actually survived that because of the Intimidate there. That's surprising. I didn't expect us to take that. I really didn't. Okay. And it's not the best. Like, you're watching this wanting, like, confidence. And it's, it's hard. Sometimes you do lose confidence. And I think one of the things I'd like to try and get across to you guys is if you're feeling like this. I think the thing to do is to try... I don't know. Try and just... Not let it get you down too much and try and just reevaluate things, how you're playing, look at how you're leading into matches and setting yourself up and things like that. I think that's a big a big part of it. Right now, do we psych up with Finney? I think we've got to psych up. We probably get we probably get um Encored from Low Pony, even if we go after it with the Geomancy. Gonna, I've got to try for it because if we can get it, if we can get it set up, then it makes things a lot easier for us going into the the, the next few turns of this match. So we will get the Geomancy off before this Lopunny can attack. It's whether or not my opponent has the encore and if it goes for it because it's such a good utility on something like Lopunny as well, with it being so fast, with its access to fake out, its scrappy ability as well. Yeah, Finney's going to take a bunch of damage. <sighs> Xenia still takes a bunch of damage as well. There's a return, okay. It's just into the Finney. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world. We've got boosted Xerneas. So we're still sitting in a decent position, regardless. But at this point, you kind of wish and you rather had Necrozma rather than the Incineroar here. <clears throat> now we have to fake out the Kyogre. It's the one thing on the field that cannot protect and I mean Low Pony probably doesn't but we'll take it down as part fighting as well so we should be able to clear the field here um, it's the Rayquaza when that comes in it's going to be a little bit of an issue to deal with uh, we just got to play smart but uh, yeah one of the things I think just not getting too down about it because I think you can eat quite easily get yourself in the, the to this downward spiral where you're just really quite thinking negatively and I think it portrays quite negatively in your play as well when you're played more defensively because you don't want to take risks because those risks maybe sometimes don't look like risks to you but when you're, you're feeling like super underconfident with things then those risks seem a lot more like they are risks so you play it a lot differently going into these matches I don't really agree with the Rayquaza switch in here especially because it's sashed it, that was kind of maybe the obvious play because we'll be able to clear both of these things off the field now um, and if that Kyogre does come back in um, my opponent's kind of going to be hoping that it's the Cartana next to that Kyogre which it could possibly be but the rain will be running out soon. And I think a Moonblast will probably take the Kyogre down. Which will then just leave the Incineroar to deal with a Cartana. Or an Amoongus. It is a Cartana. Could be Scarf Cartana as well. You can't you can't ever discount that. We said they'll outspeed it. It's whether or not the Kyogre takes the Moonblast or not. Kinda hoping that it doesn't. Because it can't protect. And it is scarfed, we know that. So we should be able to clear the field now. Cartana just protecting. Okay. I think the Kyogre is going to try and get rid of the Incineroar here. Which, if this doesn't take it down, the Origin Pulse quite possibly could. Pfft. Special Attack Drop, though, does help Origin Pulse. I don't know if we take this even minus one in the rain. Ooh, Incineroar does, but at the same time. Ugh. Okay, but we can dazzle now. Um, we still win because the Cartana can only target one thing and we get the Kyogre the next turn. So that special attack drop might have been the thing that's like kind of saved our bacon here. We know the Cartana is not a salt vest because of the protect there and uh, we get through this by the skin of our teeth. And sometimes you need these kind of games where you're like, okay, this is all right. We, we, you know, we, there was a good chance we could have lost this. We actually just take the Cartana down straight up. It's not sashed. 
So, um, and these are the sort of games where you think, right, okay, we've got we've got a little bit of a win. Let's keep it going. And I know we've done well on the channel this week, but sometimes um, I do. I obviously play on the streams and things like that. So sometimes when I do that and I have a bad night on the stream, like I feel like I did tonight, it, like we won some games, we lost some games, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just when you feel like that a bit. And it's just like I can totally relate because I hope a lot of you can relate to this where you, you kind of get into these these like m moments where you just feel like oh what's the point of trying it's just not nothing's going right nothing feels right but sometimes it's just you've just got to kind of like i say evaluate and not let this feeling kind of seep into your game and kind of overcome it somehow and sometimes that's taking a break and just having a few, a few like an hour or two away from things or just a night or an evening or a day it's hard when you're practicing for a tournament and you've got a big tournament coming up like a lot of you will have coming up to the going into the next few months as well especially it's hard but sometimes the best thing you can do is sometimes just take take a little break let's pick some good music archie and maxi and we've got an next opponent so we'll get into team preview see what we've got today so we've got manu playing a team of mandibus mewtwo incineroar xerneas tapu lele and landris Okay, <laughs> this is a great team. We've got the, the terrain support with the Tapu Lele support on that Mewtwo. I wonder if it's Mega Mewtwo. Likely is. There's no other options of a Mega on the team. Uh, Mandibuzz is probably Seed supported. Uh, then you've got the Xerneas. Okay. Um, Incineroar is going to be extremely important for us here. I'm going to lead off with Necrozma. And I think what we'll do is lead off with... Um, yeah, we'll go Tapu Fini and Incineroar in the back. And then, do we want our own Xerneas? Yeah, let's go our own Xerneas here as well and get into it. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It's probably, like, you probably don't want to listen to me going on like this. I just think sometimes, like, I'll... I, I have a tendency to, like, hide my feelings sometimes about how I'm feeling about games. And, like, I do get disappointed in myself a lot. Like, I really do. Especially when I'm putting content out. I want it to be the best content possible for the channel. Um, so sometimes I kind of, like, maybe mask over how I'm feeling sometimes and put on a brave face. But sometimes you just can't do that. And I think it's it's an important thing to, to realise that you, you need to be able to kind of, if you are in these these sort of slumps or you feel like this it's it's sometimes just reassuring to know that other people have these feelings as well you know and go through the ex exact same sort of experiences that you're kind of you're going through so that's all I wanted to, to get across but let's get into this one so we've got the tabula the mana buzz we see the um the, the seed activate on the man no no seed on the, the mana buzz but we do have to be a bit careful about the foul play coming out from it there's potential tailwind there as well so I think what we'll do is We'll just go for an Icy Wind. We'll switch in Incineroar for Necrozma. We'll save it for later. I don't fancy taking foul play damage off this Mandibuzz this turn. So We'll get the Intimidate. It's not really going to make too much difference onto either of these targets. But the Icy Wind will help us out. We're just going to see a Taunt from the Lele. Stop this. Finny being able to do much support. Mm, Tapa Lele avoids. Not good. But that's still uh, alright. So uh, we're going to see a Tailwind here, maybe, from the Mandibuzz. I'd maybe expect that. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. It's it's not the worst at all, because at the end of the day, like, there's nothing really too threatening out on the field now, taking advantage of this Tailwind. And if you look at what my opponent's got in the back, the predominantly um, special attackers... And the only physical attacker that could come in that would threaten us would be the Landorus, which doesn't really want to switch in on a, and an Icy Wind. So I'm quite happy here just snarling and just going for an Icy Wind again. And if we can catch the Landorus on the switch in, then that's that's excellent. So there's the Lele switch out. Mewtwo coming in. So the Snarl here is going to be really useful. We've got to be careful for that Mandibus switching out the following turn to get that psychic terrain up, but we're gonna see it switch out right now. Xerneas coming in. Even better really for the Icy Wind and the Snarl support from the Incineroar. Especially if that is Mega Mewtwo Y, which is gonna be, it's like so fast, isn't it? So fast. Okay, 
you kind of want to manufacture getting Arzernius onto the field, really. Um, there's a big part of me that wants to... Well, I, I kind of feel like I'm pinned here. I want to get my Xerneas onto the field to start setting up, but I feel like we need to be a bit more patient with things. Just go for another Snarl to kind of deny the Geomancy boost from the opposing Xerneas more than anything. So, Let's see. We're going to see an army to just withdraw. We're going to see Tapalele come back onto the field. Uh, the Xerneas probably does try to go for the Geomancy here, I would imagine. But we get the, the, the psychic turn up. We need to. Yeah, there's the Geomancy. That's why we want to stay in and go for that snarl. So we're kind of nullifying these special attack boosters. So the, the, the main thing that we need to worry about right now. Because um, the next turn we can potentially psych up with Finny if we if we kind of would like to. But we still got Dustman and the Crossman in the back. It's not a bad switch in for either of these things out on the field right now. And we can potentially U turn as well with Aaron Sinner on this next turn. So we can get our Finny back onto the field, go for that psych up onto the Xerneas, because you've got to remember that it still it still has those special defense boosters, speed boosts, well not speed boosts anymore because of the uh, icy wind, but um, it is neutral, but the special defense boosts, especially for something like type of Finny, would be very useful, so I think that's what we will do, we'll go for the U-turn, um, I think you're probably likely to go probably protect with Xerneas, maybe more likely to protect with Xerneas than the Lele, because I think you want to taunt the Finny in, in kind of expecting maybe a Haze coming out, which could be the one thing that does hinder the ability for Xerneas to operate as well as it can do. So there's the Moonblast. Where are you going? Into Incineroar. Okay. You can deal with that. Moonblast doubling in onto that slot here. Expecting us to protect. That's alright. We'll get the U-turn out into the Lele. And we'll get our type of Finny back onto the field. And we could potentially get Xerneas out onto the field now. Um, but we're probably better off keeping Zern for later on. But the Photon Geyser will probably do a decent amount to the Xerneas. Well, not without the Psychic Terrain. If the Psychic Terrain was still up, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, we'll go for a Psych up into that Xerneas because it is neutral speed. It's just got the special defense boost, which we we would be, like, we, it'd be really nice if we can take advantage of that. And we'll just switch out in the Crossmere again. We'll be really patient with this one, just getting it Incineroar back onto the field. It's just if that Lele goes for the taunt into the Finny once again, uh, that could kind of hinder us a little bit. Okay, no taunt, which is good. Mandibus coming back out. Probably going to try for those that Tailwind once again. There's a Protect. Okay, that's fine, because we still get the, the Psych up through the Protect. That's ideal. Um, okay, I think we got Icy Wind. I mean, we could go Heal Pulse into into Incineroar, which isn't a bad play, really. And then just U-turn out onto the Mandibuzz. But I don't know if Incineroar can take... I don't think we'll take a Moonblast from, from Xerneas if it does decide to stay in. I'm going to see the Tapu Lele come back onto the field. Fine, get that psychic terrain just to get around that fake out that's potentially coming out from the incineral, but we're not gonna fall for that trap. There's the moon blast. Where's it into? Yeah, we'll probably go down to this, I think. Yeah. That's a little bit of a shame. Heal pulse not doing anything there. Um Now we can get Azonius in. Could we? What do we go for the Necrozma? Hmm. We could just go on a Crosma. And keep our Xerneas for later on. For as late as possible. I don't want to Mega Evolve though yet. That's the, the big thing. 
think we'll icy wind once again and we'll go for the four tongue oh, we could call mind ourselves and just heal pulse that's not a bad option actually either it's just the mind buzz when it comes in it's going to be difficult to deal with uh So it might be better just to go four ton geyser into the Xerneas. I think, yeah, an icy wind. Combine's really tempting here. Oh, the Xerneas gonna protect. Okay. What are we gonna say? Papalele, Moonbast. Where are you going? Yeah, trying to scout out us. Mm, ultra bursting, I think. Now we'll be able to heal Pulse though. And Photon Geyser. Heal Pulse. And we could potentially Calm Mind here. I think that's not a bad play. Calm Mind in and just heal Pulsing. Now the Mind of Us comes onto the field. Yeah. another moon blast we're not doing too much this time around so we'll get this heal pulse into ultra necrozma we'll get all our health back which is nice still got to worry about this mandibuzz though for sure um, and we could moon blast into it we could icy wind again to be honest but I think probably moon blasting and do we want to just Photon Geyser into the Tapu Lele rather than... I think we probably do just want to Photon Geyser the Lele rather than Ultra Burst at this point. I feel like the Mandibus probably goes Tailwind as well. I'm surprised the Lele hasn't went for the Taunt though into the Finny to stop down and shut down our like, support options. So is this... I don't think it'll be enough. Maybe in the Psychic Terrain though. Wow. Okay, that's enough. That's crazy. Moonblast. It should do a nice chunk of damage. We'll probably get foul played though. Okay, so we'll be able to take the Mandibus down the next turn. There's a Snarl. Okay, just resetting that. Calm Mind boost that we've had to Necrozma. Now what comes in for my opponent? Is it going to be the Xerneas? Or the Mewtwo. It is the Mewtwo. I don't feel like I'm really that worried about the Mewtwo though. With the special defense boost on the Finny. Um, and we can Icy Wind. And I think just, just protect Necrozma this turn. Just that foul play again. And it would be nice if we can outspeed the, the Mewtwo with the Necrozma going into the next turn. So there's Mewtwo Y, here we go. Like I said, the Finny with the special defense boost is sitting in a way better position at the minute than it would have been without it. Calm mind. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But we do have Psych up on our, our Finny, still. Does the Mandibus just go for another Snarl? I'd imagine it probably does. Either that or Tailwind. Tailwind. Makes a lot of sense. And the Psychic Terrain does disappear, which is super helpful for us. Um, I mean, we could probably Calm Mind again. There's no foul play, I don't think, on the Mandibus. There probably is, to be honest. Um, I think we Calm Mind again now. Psy Strike into Finny. Remember, it's a defense stat, actually, isn't it? <sighs> Man, that thing is crazy, crazy powerful. Damn. Mega Me 2Y. 
It's ridiculously strong. Man, but then there's the foul play. Okay. Wow. I definitely didn't expect that side strike to do as much damage there. Kind of a sitting duck at the moment with the, the side strikes coming out into Tapu Fini. And the foul play from the Mandibus. I think we've got to try. Like, Finney is not going to take it. No way. Um, I've got to try and stall this Tailwind out. We'll go for a Moonblast. Tailwind. It's got two more turns. I really don't see how... I mean... To be honest, we could... Ultra Burst. And Protect. Yeah. And then we will get the jump on the Mewtwo the next turn. We could get it this turn. So she's not really got a way to hit the Mandibuzz. Psy Strike, yeah. Bye bye, Finny. You did well, my little friend. Man, me too. Why is ridiculous? There's a snarl. Okay. Do we get Mewtwo with a Z move though? I don't. I really don't think we do. Um, but we could. It is minus two, so we could potentially go Dazzling Gleam. That'll get the Manda Buzz. And um, we could go Z move into the Mewtwo. Let's try it. Let's try it. I don't think it's going to happen though. I really don't. Let's see. If we can get our Geomancy up, well, we're not going Geomancy, we're going Dazzling Gleam. I mean, if we can get the Mewtwo into the Mewtwo, can we do it? Come on, come on, Mewtwo. So close, though. So close. Should go down to Dazzling Gleam. It's just whether or not Xerneas can take this. I don't know if we can. Wow. Man, right, I mean, <laughs> too close for comfort, it really is, it really is. Zone just taking that, the defensive investment, the Tailwind does pitter out just in time. I think we just got the Xerneas to come in now. Which if we're plus one, which I think we are, we should be able to get the Xerneas with the Photon Geyser. And I don't think we can afford two Geomancy here, I think we need to Moonblast. Let's see, what are we on? Plus two, plus one, okay. Yeah, Photon Geyser should get it from here? Should. I'm saying should, I don't think we will. It's just if we're... Oh, we're so close. But we probably went a speed tie, so we get super fortunate there and managed to take this one, so... Very good game to my opponent. And um, I tell you what, guys, what would be amazing to hear is, would you be opposed to seeing some changes to this team going into next week? We've played it so four days this week since the, the battle spot got refreshed. But I would really be up for doing some big changes to this team. I mean, playing the same core, um, but making some changes for next week. If you've got any suggestions that you'd like to see featured in this sort of team, then let me know, because I'd be more than happy to feature them going into next week. But I think, personally, I'd like to revamp the team a little bit and make some additional changes, just to overcome some things that are maybe a little bit more difficult than usual, like than what I've kind of faced so far outside of these battles here. But um, it's been amazing so far this week. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, keep the comments coming, of course, and uh, I hope that you continue to enjoy this series. And we'll be back on Monday with more BGC 2019 battle series stuff. So until then, guys, have a great weekend. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you for the next one on Monday. So until then, take care and bye-bye.